I'm Annabelle Childers. This weekend, a fire chief in Pueblo West is remembering 9-11. KRDO News Channel 13's Emily Coffey is live in our studio after learning about his ties to the tragedy and how they changed the way he serves Southern Colorado. Emily. He is the division fire chief out in Pueblo West, coming from a long line of first responders and public servants. He watched as his godfather responded to the World Trade Center during 9-11, a man that influenced his desire to become a firefighter. Watching my, my godfather when I was a little kid, him studying to be a, a fireman out there, you know, he, he'd take me to the firehouse all the time and entertain me with the fire trucks and that's the first thing JJ says led him to be a first responder. But long after childhood, he remembers the tragedy that struck America 22 years ago. Me and my mom are watching the news in the morning, both getting ready to go to work. And, you know, so that day kind of consumed both of our lives. But as soon as this disaster struck, JJ was thinking about his godfather who was called to respond to 9-11. It was, it was a long day for our family, knowing that he was going. Joe Amendolari is just one of the first responders in JJ's family. His cousins are also in New York working as first responders. Both of his parents are public servants, and watching the events of 9-11 gave him that final push towards his career. I'd say it gave me a bigger push to, to get into some form of some form of first responder, be it law enforcement or be it fire. Um. But it wasn't until five years later that it became a reality, serving in Pueblo West as a firefighter and now as a fire chief. I thought, man, what, what, what better job in the world to have is than to be a fireman. And the events of 9-11 are never forgotten in his station, this flag in the entryway symbolic of that. But he also says that his crew learns from every tragedy by staying prepared. I'd say that every tragedy is not in vain when it comes to the fire service or, yeah, or law enforcement because we take it, we learn from it, and we train for it to happen again. Tomorrow, firefighters from Fountain will gather at Widener Field to remember 9-11 by climbing the stairs there. For more information, we have an article on it at krdo.com. Reporting live in our studio, Emily Coffey, KRDO News Channel 13.